Hi, my name is Gary, and I'm founder and CEO of Greenheart Global. And today I'm going to talk about a subject which we do a lot of work on, and it's called GOH, or Garments on Hangers. And let me show you how this works. Now, clothing in this new international economy is mostly made overseas at factories. And they're shipped in container ships across the ocean. To stores in the United States. Now, in the old days, a shirt was made over in Asia, was shipped over to the store, not on a hanger. It was actually put on a hanger here in the store. So that when a new piece of clothing came, it would be put on the same hanger. This hanger would be used over and over and over again, which made sense. In this new economy, clothing is put on hangers at the factory. And the reason why it's put on hangers on the factory is because the hangers can be made overseas, so it's cheaper to make it. The labor to put it on the piece of clothing is actually cheaper, and it just costs less. The hangers become part of the business of making clothing. The manufacturers actually pay for the hanger. So with this scenario, and it's called GOH, or Garments on Hangers, the piece of clothing is shipped to the United States already on a hanger so that all that the store workers have to do on the store platform is open up the boxes and hang the uh, piece of clothing on its own hanger. Now this is becoming more and more prevalent in the clothing industry because it's so much cheaper to have the hangers made overseas and put on hangers. Here's the store. And every single piece of clothing comes in on a hanger. So it goes to the store, and when the piece of clothing is sold, the customer takes the piece of clothing, and then the hanger's left over. Now, stores try to give customers the hangers, but they're pretty cheap hangers. They're made out of polystyrene and um, they're not really everybody's favorite type of hanger. So they, they don't want the hanger. So since the customer takes a piece of clothing, what you have is an unusable hanger. And why is that? Well, it's because every piece of clothing which is coming in has its own hanger. So there's no need to reuse this. So this hanger, which is made out of material that can last for a thousand years in a landfill, uh, really its useful life is only as long as it takes it to get across the ocean and for as long as it takes, takes that piece of clothing to be sold. So what happens is, after a while, the store starts filling up with hangers that are left over. Hundreds and hundreds of hangers a day start piling up. These could be easily recycled. Is so the, is the popular misconception. Well, the problem is these hangers are made out of a very low grade material, very low grade plastic, very low grade metal. And why is that? Well, because the manufacturer has to pay for this. This hanger has to be part of his cost of goods for every single piece of clothing he makes for the, the company that he's selling for. So he wants to pay as little as possible about this hanger. So it's usually a very low grade polystyrene or polypropylene or polycarbonate. Uh, two of these which are really problematic. Polystyrene off-gasses benzene into clothing when it's very young. 
it also leaches benzene into the groundwater if this hanger is thrown into the landfill, which most are. Polycarbonate is bisphenol A. And you may have heard about this bisphenol A. It's a hormone disruptor, and it's found in um, polycarbonate bottles um, like the Nalgene bottles uh, before. And it, it leaches bisphenol A into um, the drinking water and into the groundwater in landfills. Um, Canada has recently banned bisphenol A and polycarbonate into um, drinking bottles there for babies and for um, adults. So it's made of very, very cheap material and some of it um, not highly recycled. These three materials are not normally recycled in a uh, municipal recycling uh, system. They're very unusual for them to recycle. Plus, in order to recycle a product, you have a metal hanger and a plastic body. And sometimes you have vinyl or rubber flip pads, non-flip pads. Sometimes you have metal clips on here, all kinds of different material that has to be separated. When you separate, you have to separate materials, it becomes less and less valuable on the recycling end of things. Um, and because you're using such a low grade plastic, such a low grade metal, and such a low grade rubber or vinyl, it's really not worth the trouble for a recycler uh, to, to mess around with, to try to um, take it and to recycle it. Yeah. So that's the story about garments on hangers, or GOH. This is Gary Barker from Greenhawk Global, and more later.